All right, let's get right into this, part two. Um, I've got to take this door panel off because I need to get in there and double check that motor. Um, easy peasy. Let's get into this. Just a side note, only a couple screws in this thing. Eh, if I can get that. No, wrong way. I'm gonna take that screw out. Probably lose it. There's only two screws in this, and this is my side note. And I actually never noticed. I never noticed that that crack. You guys saw it, might have seen. I actually never noticed that crack, or if I did, I forgot about it. This I didn't forget. They over tightened this, so that's not on there. This speaker grill here, I glued back on. On um, this piece right down here, because it's not. See how it, se see how it separates? Because there's no screw there. I'm um, gonna get these two screws out here. But these guys apparently were in this thing more than I was. When I say these guys, I'm talking about the previous owner. Or actually, I should say owners. Because uh, in a way, I kind of sort of hate the fact that I took this truck away from a family. Because this truck had six or seven previous owners. But when I say six or seven previous owners, they were all family. Um, grandfather, father, uncle, I don't know, but... They're all named on it as in the ownerships. Um, no, there is one right there. Look, I didn't know there was one right there. All right, give me a sec. All right, so here's my plan. This right here is, those wires look fine. That's speaker wire, I don't care about that. That wire's kind of twisted around, I don't like that. But either way, I have to unplug this and I actually have the other motor. Now this motor is hooped. This is actually why I was making grinding, but it still actually has power. So all I have to do is plug it into this and see if this thing will actually turn on, and then I will know whether or not this uh, motor in there. And look, hey, look at that. Somebody else drilled this out. Look, see ah, where I drilled it out. So I don't know. I might be able to get that motor. That motor looks... The heck am I looking at here? Anyways, all right, I digress. Uh, let me get this thing unplugged, get this in, uh, keys in the ignition, and let's see if we can make this thing work. All right, that's plugged in. All right, key on, not starting. Uh, down, up, yeah, see, down, up, works. Oh, 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 SpaghettiOs, nothing okay. All right, this side. Nothing, nada, all right. That's a good news, bad news thing for me. Um, good news is, likely, in all likelihood, there's nothing wrong with this. Bad news is, wow. I never noticed that before. Look at that. I never came into this. Oh, wow, those are pretty crusty. That's actually for the roof lights, if I want to put uh, clearance lights on. I'm not so sure I would do that anyway. Look how crusty that is. Digressing, a ah, squirrel moment. So yeah, there's a lot of wires in here to cut up. But now, uh, something that's pretty common, actually a colleague actually has more experience with this than me. And he was the one that actually told me that right in here a lot of times on the driver's door. He told me a story about kind of the same thing where one day, you know, he, he got in his truck, he rolled his window down, rolled it back up, um, got back in it, went to roll the window down and the window wouldn't move. So it, it was working and it's not. Exact same situation here. Look at that. That speaker's not even... That is not a factory Ford speaker. Not like that one. These are two different speakers in this. I digress again. Um, anyways, so I'm going to have to get in there and take all that apart. Thing is, I was trying to do this as quickly as I can. This is going to turn into a couple different videos, I think. I'm going to see if I can get a bulb to fit in that. I think I might have one because that one doesn't have a bulb in it. And... Uh, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So this is a really short video, but I wanted to show you guys my progress and trying to figure out what's going on with this because I will bring you along. Um, stay tuned. If you guys are watching this channel, I'm actually going to do a video really quick on that car right there because I haven't done any videos on that car and I want to explain myself. So stay tuned for the next video. Um, they're due to come out every Tuesday and Friday is what I'm trying to make them out. So this one here will come out on Tuesday. Um, that one there should come out on Friday. But yeah, all right. So this could take into a while of um, figuring out. 
So I'll probably do all of this off, off camera. Once I actually find the problem, if I find a broken wire or whatever, I'll bring it back. And that's actually where I'll start the next one in this series of trying to figure out what's going on with this power window. So now I have to find a broken wire. So the fact that that thing does, well, actually, I don't know if you guys seen this. I don't know if you guys watched the video to the end last time. Hold on. So, so there's a hint. So if I'm pressing this down, you hear that? So there's a power draw somewhere. Um, that's actually a good thing for me because it is pretty common, obviously. But if this wasn't drawing power at all and this was a dead switch, it wouldn't draw power that way. So it doesn't matter which way I go with this, but that one doesn't move. So it's going to be in here. And the fact that this is kind of not in there all the way as it is, you guys see that? Looks like somebody else had been here before me. And all that wiring is, well, it's behind that. And man, I would really have to take all this apart to figure out what's going on there. So I'm hoping that when I had this door off and I was messing with this thing, maybe I did just pull on a wire in here. And there's a loose, broken, green, puffy wire that's making it not work. So, all right. How's that bushing? That looks like that last it doesn't look bad. All right, quick video on that. Uh, stay tuned for another part. Has a door trim piece, which I really have to replace falling in. And uh, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm gonna turn this key off, not too auxiliary. <laughs> Take the key out and uh, wrap it up. Short video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you guys have any ideas whatsoever, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Um, if you guys have more experience in this than I do, or my colleague does, I'm going to be going over there next. Um, if you guys have any ideas, feel free to leave me a comment. With that being said, thanks for subscribing, uh, sharing, doing all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.